All right, we are back, and uh, we're going to be doing some more twist. Continuing through with some of the new heroes, let's try Dr. Boom. His hero power is summon a 1-1 boom bot with the passive, after a friendly mech dies, shuffle a bomb into your opponent's deck. Watch this! Okay. Um, at least we ran into another underperforming deck for a change. One day we'll stick an automaton, I can feel it. It's a pretty important burn. So what could they, they could have gotten a jar dealer? There aren't that many minions in this deck, right? Seems likely it was just a jar dealer. Oh, and a one thief. Okay. This is the type of start that I've been, like, <laughs> trying to eke out every time I've drawn a automaton, so it actually getting to do something for a change is very nice, even if only for a turn. How do I hit one so frequently? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, so this is the jar dealer now. They have a lot more minions than I assumed. Just go here, look to set up a trade into the Dynomatic next turn to try and get back onto the board. Never mind. Light the fuses. Decent rolls for me, at least. I don't have an answer to that, though. So it's just kind of going to... Be a roadblock that deals five damage to me every turn. Bask in my radiance. It's also the spell wing it could hit. You wanna cast a spell? And the Babylon book. I think I need to try and squeeze in a uh, Blastmaster Boom next turn. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Pick me! Pick me! Never mind. Could be a liability, as we've seen with the bomb. It doesn't immediately cast, but it does. Relax. It's a party. Yeah. 
So we do deny another copy of this at least. Draw. Could be beneficial. I would. I think these are all mostly fine. Let's do this though. I would very much like to be able to play the Dr. Boom next turn though. Anybody? That said, if they don't trade, there may not be the. And I don't have a. If they're able to avoid clearing the board here, <clears throat> or clear the board and avoid having to trade here. Who's that? Bloomstone. I've already cast a spell. Thirteen. Need light over here. Looks like it's gonna be the Doctor Boom. <laughs> Let's My hand is too full. Okay. It's a lot more bombs that get shuffled in now. Ow. Suddenly my boom bots are kind of popping. Popping off. I have many weapons in my arsenal. or something along those lines. I think there's one that gives me, like, health stat swap in here. So I just need to find that. Let's see if we get it here first. Because it still would be better. By the power of the sun. Unfortunately, this denies the draw, which could block a bomb. Two for two in that regard. There are still 16 more bombs in their deck. There's a chance we just die here. We must stop this corruption. Strapping a Ziliax to a Boombot could make the Death Rattle heal for a bit more. Odd. 
Unity. Precision. Primitive. I had to separate the uh, Zilliax because I want to get it back from the boom. My hand is too full. A simple spit. Didn't attack at all. <laughs> They're alive. Alive. Primitive. <laughs> Last turn from the opponent seems a little weird. Just need two bombs here. There's 19 in their deck. Wasn't likely to happen, but it would have been nice. Yeah, nice random enemy minion there. Dead. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the Jace deck. It does draw a lot of cards, so I just need to load up a bunch of bombs into their deck. I don't think I mind just playing the Micro Mummy. Just curve things out and start spamming hero powers after a while. Going wide is a bit of a liability because, like, the uh, six mana imp spell is. Mm, yeah. Kind of a lot of mana cheat. Or at least has the potential to be. Mm, let's just do this. I think these are all pretty reasonable. We'll just take the cheap one. We want things to die. And that will add um, bombs into their deck. One bomb. It fills out my curve pretty nicely here. And then we just get to start working on some hero powers to get more bombs into their deck. Our work now shapes life as we know it. It's going to get them a lot of long term value. Nice. Take two. Alright, we're finally starting to load up the bombs. There's three in their deck now. Oof. Wow, that's a lot of mana. Oh my god. They paid zero for it, and they get... So much cost reduction. Uh, I think that that just lost me the game. Unless I can 
I don't know. Get them to draw a bunch of uh, bombs in a row. Nice. Just a casual one damage. It's such an unbelievable eye roll. Just want to go wide where I can, and again, get to the point where the bombs are a more legitimate threat. Because we do have lethal damage where the bombs in their deck, it's just like, that's not realistically going to kill them. Bros just completed. Imagine having to pay mana for cards. Couldn't be this opponent. Imagine hitting a number other than one. Couldn't be me. Alright. I'm gonna go here, here, and here a power next turn. Hey, it's a bomb. Now the problem here is there's still another expendable performer. There's another bomb. Okay. A blunder. We have Was it actually a second one drawn, or does uh, Jotun double cast the the bombs? I think I remember that from duels. This truly is reliving the duels experience, except bomb warrior is terrible. Infestation. Can I hit a number other than one? Four, okay. I mean, we only needed a two. Okay. Okay, does that give them three now? Or am I just thinking too crazy? Okay. One more. Oh. See, I think that was all the same bomb, yeah. I think they, the Jotun ended up <laughs> destroying them. One, two, three. I can count. Error. Hot bucket. I think I kind of like the Gorilla Bot for a potential turn 5 play. Just things that replace themselves in hand as well as, like, get more mechs. Like, I could even just play it on curve if I wanted to, since it's conditional, whereas Ursatron is not. So. Sure, let's just go Gorilla Bot here. That could be very good. Go with the cheap one. Caution. So I could either go here and here, or just play the World Breaker. Oh. But not an 
expected. It feels so weird to, like, care so little about whether or not we get value off of these mechs and just, like, throw them out to die. And then we basically just let them die until they're dead and then wait for the opponent to explode. Like, the little chip damage that we do get is useful. Just for getting us closer to lethal, but, like, isn't necessarily the play of mech. So the hero power doesn't help with the... Uh, Meme run. Keep doming them. Make use of that reduced cost life total. A reduced life total. They keep pointing it at their own minions, but I'm not sure with what. Leave bones, please. There are four bombs in deck. I want to definitely hang on to the execute in case they did get the Azerite Ox so that I can bellow in flames, execute it. Okay, so I'm, I, that's what I thought it was, but it really felt like that should have come down much sooner. Either way, I'm just like simply not getting minion damage to face anymore. We're just solely reliant on like these bombs hit and dig. Or at least that's what it feels like. some of the incoming damage here. Get some more bombs going. I don't think this actually summons anything right now. Unfortunately. Incredible. Such value. I think that's the second time I've seen an Arphas do that. <laughs> It's very funny every time. No, oh, you could buff my minion, though. Alright. It's just a race between... ...the bombs here. Okay, this will now at least bring back the Zilliax. Okay, there are now 11, 12 bombs in the deck. This is starting to look very similar to my duels experience. Oh no. Okay. Are they winning from here or something? Now 
I hate Arfus so much, man. No way they have two of those. Take a good look. You ain't never seen a lot of it is impossible for someone to get luckier than this opponent. Three in a row. Alright, just don't let them get steam cleaner this time. I think there's a world where I coin a two drop just because I have the hero power. And, like, getting the bombs rolling early is so critical for this matchup that, like, passing a single turn has pretty significant consequences. Like, yeah, there's a good chance they just respawn and kill this, um, but it gets the bomb in their deck. That's what we're trying to do here. Okay. So we just got three, four, five, six. Kill it, please. Well, at least it wasn't a one. Already? They can't steam cleaner them if they blow up before they get the five mana, right? Well, I guess they don't need five mana. Come under my wing. And I think we just kind of slam the pause and keep going face. There's two bombs in there. Just go. What? Let's start here. Error. Hot bucket. Oh, that's not itself a mech. There's a world where. <laughs> they do that apparently, but also we consider just slam in a cold light. Okay, so they did get the third excavate. That means they get the card that uh, discovers steam cleaner for them every time. Smiley face. I mean, I've got lethal on board. They need to do something here. It also gives me the 3-3. Three, three. Oh! Wait, I guess it's guaranteed to go face there. Wait. <laughs> That's just more bombs? Okay, there's seven bombs. I think I do want to just play this, though, to ensure that they don't get healing. Yeah. Because the bombs are still pretty unlikely to get drawn here. 7 out of 30. Isn't that many? It's like a quarter. Getting something like this would really be beneficial then. Breakpoint is currently two bombs. This might just be the cold light. Now it's just one bomb. In the next turn, we have the Gaia. 
please not a Monthul. Gaia only sets them to two. Wait, they're gonna die? Gaia is lethal. So is the power most, but... Okay.